Thank you. I'm insecure because I never went to college. <laughs> and I know that you're looking at me and you're thinking, well, then where'd you get your glasses? <laughs> Beat up a college kid. <laughs> I didn't go to school. And it's, it's an insecurity that I wear on my, on my sleeves. Like, I just can't stop thinking about it. I feel less than a lot of people. And, um, in America, there's, uh, just like you guys have, a four-year university, but we also have this nice thing called the community college, which is basically the best way to describe it is a place where adults hang out <laughs> in between jobs. <laughs> and recently, when I was up in Seattle, where I'm from, somebody approached me and asked if I had been on Bellevue Community College's website recently. And I was like, oh, you mean bcc.biz? because they don't even earn EDUs. <laughs> like, I haven't been on there in weeks. Why, what does it say? Did they update it finally? And he said, no, go on the site and search your name. So I did, and it turns out that Bellevue Community College has me listed as a notable alumni. <laughs> I am a notable alumni at a community college, which to me, thank you, to me it means more than any bachelor's degree out there. And it goes a lot further in a job interview, I'll tell you that. <laughs> I'm a notable alumni. And I, I, I thought, like, that's so crazy. Who else? And it turns out there's just two of us, me and Jim Caviezel. <laughs> Who's Jim Caviezel? Great question from most people. Jim Caviezel played Jesus in Mel Gibson's Passion of the Christ. <laughs> Mel Gibson, the best Christian scoured our earth and found this gentleman to portray our savior. <laughs> and so I thought, what did I do that was so notable? And then I remembered. You see, at a university, you are accepted because you are on the level. But at a community college, they don't know what level you're on. So they make you take a placement test. And it's just a test that gives them an idea what classes to put you in. It's a two hour test. I finished it in 20 minutes and I'm not bragging here. It's because I just did not care. <laughs> and after two pages, just started circling the hardest questions. Turned it in, walked out, everybody's like, look at this genius. And I'm like, yeah, see at school, dorks. <laughs> and then the first day of school rolled around and my first class was English 072. And when I got to class, I immediately noticed that I was different than everybody. Because of my placement test, they had placed me into an English as a second language class. <laughs> they had put me in an ESL class, which means I did so good on that test that they thought I was fluent in a foreign language. <laughs> oh. A week into the class, the teacher comes up to me, he's like, hey man, I don't think you're supposed to be in here. And I was like, yeah, I don't think that's your call. <laughs> uh, because to be honest, I feel like a leader for the first time in my life. <laughs> All these guys are looking up to me. This is what school should feel like. <laughs> Just let it happen. I won't last more than two months. It's true, I was a notable alumni and they totally overlooked the fact that I got a non-complete in all three courses that I took <laughs> and stopped going after two months. So, yeah, that's exciting, I'm a notable alumni. But what could I do with my education? And I realized it's so easy. I could be a pastor. <laughs> I could be a pastor at any Christian church in North America, guaranteed. A pastor of a church. I could do that, no problem, because I've seen them speak and they're not very good. <laughs> the most popular pastor in North America right now, he's Justin Bieber's pastor. I watched him speak in front of 20,000 people and here's how he opened up. The line that he opened up with. I'll never forget when I was five years old and I got lost at a grocery store. Have you ever felt lost? Okay, two things, fuck you. You're trying to equate you being lost at a grocery store when you were five that is definitely not a memory that you have but something your mom has mentioned to you. You're equating that to somebody who feels disconnected from society that might want to kill themselves because of it. And everyone in the audience is just like, yeah, I've felt lost. I love this guy. Genius. Sign me up. Here's my first sermon. I just want to give it to you guys because I think I've worked on it pretty hard. 
I'd walk into any church and I'd say, listen, um, I'm Nick, I'm your new pastor, I guess. And they'd be confused, but then they'd look me up and down and be like, yeah, you're actually the coolest looking guy we've seen in a long time. We gotta fire two guys, but you're in. And then Sunday, I walk up on stage, they're finishing up a song, tell the piano player, just keep, keep tickling them back there. Just keep the emotion up. Hey guys, I'm Pastor Nick, and I know you're wondering, where's Pastor Jeff? What happened to Pastor Brian? Which statistically are their names. <laughs> Don't worry about them. Let's pray, take off your glasses. <laughs> Jesus was a stickler. <sighs> Dear Jesus. <laughs> oh, yeah. you son of a God. Dear Jesus, thank you for these noodles. Ramen. I'm just kidding, guys. I'm Pastor Nick. I like ramen. I like pho. I make a pour over every morning. I'm a cool dude. Let's fucking hang out. <laughs> oh, you guys, but honestly, I'll never forget when I was two years old. And I dropped my biggest toy, and it landed on my big toe. And later that day, the toenail came off. Have you ever lost a loved one? <laughs> Thank you guys very much, I'm Pastor Nick.